Hello, I'm Denise Cassidy Wood, and I've been asked by Arts Case to do a short video or series of videos answering some questions that they gave me about my art business. So first, they, they want to know how I became an artist, and I'll say it was totally by accident. I took a hobby level class because I was a stay-at-home mom and needed to get out of the house, and uh, one thing led to another. Next thing you know, I can't stop painting. So that's how I got started. Um, and how long have I been an artist? Well, I've been a selling artist for uh, the last almost 10 years. So I've been, I started painting in 2008. I started selling uh, very early, or end of 2009, early 2010. Um, and do I think that artists need a style? Absolutely, they need a style. I think it's very important um, way to represent yourself as an artist. I feel like my style is a very um, important part of who I am as an artist and it allows um, my buyers and, and collectors to um, recognize my work wherever I have it displayed. So I, I definitely think a style is important to an artist, especially if you're selling. Um, can I describe my creative process? Well, I'm inspired by color, so it, it usually starts out with you know, a color that I'm drawn to or attracted to at the time and flowers just give me the perfect palette to explore that. And um, with that, I'm, I'm also drawn to the texture element that I put in all of my work. So I get this uh, combination of painting and sculpting. And so I would say um, definitely my inspiration comes by bold, vibrant, beautiful colors. So what is my strongest skill? I would probably say my strongest skill is uh, marketing my work. Um, it's um, it's a it's a hard job for artists to do that. We we really struggle with um, you know getting ourselves out there and uh, promoting our work and finding the venues to to place our work, being the face of our work. When we really just want to hide in our studios and and create because that's what we're passionate about. Um, what, would, what is my favorite piece of art? Well, that's a very difficult question for me to answer. It's kind of like choosing, you know, your favorite child. Um, all of my pieces are special in a, in a different way. Um, but I would say if I were to choose a collection, I, I am more drawn to and proud of my large focal point pieces, kind of like what you see back there, the big blue one. So what am I passionate about? Uh, besides uh, my, my artwork. Um, I would say hiking and climbing mountains and rock climbing and that sort of thing. I really enjoy being in nature. It's what grounds me and, um, you know, it's my big stress reliever. I like to go out to um, different mountain destinations each year and go on a nice long hiking trip. Um, let's see. What I consider my greatest achievement I think turning this this art passion into a business has been a huge achievement for me. Uh, the fact that I've sold um, over 800 original paintings is is mind blowing to, to to me. That I was able to do that. That that people were that interested in my work. So I would put that at the top of the list of things that I'm proud of as far as my achievements go. So what advice would I give an up and coming artist? Um, hustle. You have to get out there and hustle and um, promote yourself and get your work in front of multiple people. Find your find your tribe. Find the people that um, th th that that are drawn to your work. That that understand your mission. That understand your um, like why you're doing what you do. Um, and and get that work out there and. Um, Spend time on the business aspect of it. You, you, if, if you want to sell your work, it is a business. So you have to understand business. Um, and can I describe my typical day? My typical day would be is broken up into two categories. It, either it's a studio day or it's a business day. So in the studio days, I come down here in my studio and um, I work on multiple pieces at a time. I, um, because there's a lot of dry, there's a lot of drying time, so I really do need to jump from piece to piece and work on different elements of it, let them dry, and then circle back around to do that. On the business days, it's um, usually sitting in front of my computer, answering emails, 
um, handling all the the business stuff, the the the, the data entry, the QuickBooks, the accounting, the organizing, the inventory, photographing paintings, photographing um, my my merchandise, all those things. So two different categories, I would say, are my typical day. And so the last question is, um, can I give you a tour of my studio? So kind of set this up so you can see a little bit behind me. You can see this is sort of my workstation here. This is all works in progress. The giant table behind there was built specifically to my height so that I don't have to kill my back while I'm applying texture and sculpting, that sort of thing. Um, and then on this side, over here, I have a, a station over there where I do all my packaging, so all the merchandise that I ship and that sort of thing. I can package it there. And then um, just some file cabinets and that sort of thing. But basically, it's just a nice big open studio where I can... Um, where I can move around. I've got enough space to move around. I've been fortunate enough to build this a few years ago and actually have a legitimate home studio. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope this was helpful.